Welcome back. All right, so some news of the day from around the National Hockey League. And uh, yeah, and then, then a little bit of something at the end for that as well. Uh, so Andrew Shaw is currently in concussion protocol. This, of course, being alarming since Shaw has had a history of concussions. So hopefully he's okay. Um, we'll see how long he's out for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, Connor Murphy is going to be out 10 to 14 days as Boquist slots back into the lineup, uh, having gone through COVID protocols and now he feels well enough to come back, I would guess, now that he's rejoined the team. Um, this this narrative that, well, players don't get sick, they they do, and, and they end up feeling kind of worn down for, it seems like, almost a week, uh, where they're still kind of worn down and they're not able to get back in the lineup. So, uh, anyways, he'll be back in the lineup for the Hawks soon. I haven't seen for sure that he's playing tonight, but I, I know Murphy's out. I would imagine Bolquist slots back into the lineup. Uh, so with the Flyers currently sidelined, uh, Tahoe starts to come up like, well, what's going to happen with the Lake Tahoe game? Well, the NHL is not going to lose their opportunity to put on quite the show at Lake Tahoe. And so the backup plan is for the New York Rangers to sub in against the Boston Bruins at Lake Tahoe in the event that the Philadelphia Flyers aren't back and playing by then. But part of the reason, and this is the theory, part of the reason why the Flyers were so quickly put into the protocol and their games were postponed is because they want to make sure nothing jeopardizes that game at Lake Tahoe. So, uh, yeah, it, the Rangers are the backup plan in the event the Flyers can't play, and we'll see what happens there. Uh, the Oilers. Reason for the Oilers gear. Uh, Pugliarvi not at practice today. Uh, they're saying it's precautionary. They're going to reevaluate him later today and see if he goes into the lineup tonight or not. But they had James Neal skating on a line with McDavid and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. That, of course, would be huge for Neal if that was the case. Uh, potentially, he could go out there, score some goals. Basically, you just have to skate to the right spot on the ice and McDavid might bounce the puck in off of you. So... We'll see if that happens for James Neal or if Paul Yarvey's back in the lineup tonight uh, as planned. Um, and, and speaking of plans going awry, the Nashville Predators, who are off to this 5-8 and eight start, which is problematic, uh, Ekholm and Johansson are now announced as week to week. They're not saying what it is with Ekholm. With Johansson, I think they're saying it's upper body. It's it, 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 Again, there's no specifics at all with Ekholm, just that it's physical, not emotional. And Johansson, it's either upper or lower. I, I, I've even stopped putting it on the board as to whether it's one or the other because it doesn't really doesn't really matter. I just, yeah. So Johansson's out, Ekholm's out, and both of those players were kind of off to slow starts offensively. The, the blue line for Nashville, which has really been their bread and butter throughout their whole existence, there's been some slow starts on that blue line. I will say, though, Ellis has played very well, but Yossi, it's been kind of mixed, and, and Ekholm, it was kind of mixed as well. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, we'll see how long Ekholm's out for and how Nashville's blue line adjusts to that, because Ekholm is one of the more underrated defensemen in the National Hockey League. Uh, Columbus news, because Columbus has to be on every news board, apparently. Uh, Elvis is off of the IR, so uh, Merzlikens is back as the backup, and Corpusalo is in net to start tonight. So we'll see how many games, uh, how this gets split between the two of them. But Corpusalo is starting tonight, and Elvis will be the backup. So any concerns about the goaltending in Columbus, for now, they are set aside. But Columbus is basically on virtually every news board that I do. Uh, last night, Brad Marchand with his 16th career overtime goal. He ties Daniel Sedin and Patrick Eliash for fifth all-time uh, on the overtime goals list. And, of course, we can all mention, while well, overtime goals weren't really a thing during the eras of Guy Lafleur and Gordy Howe, which is true, but still, a uh, pretty cool accomplishment, and we'll see how high up Marshawn ends up. Th and that goal was insane, because he was just wide open. And and as soon as he was going in on Gurgiev, I'm like, yeah, this this is going in. So, um, good on Marshawn. And I know everybody loves, oh, I, that may not be true. Not everybody loves Brad Marshawn, but... You know, there we go. Maybe after his retirement, they can just take Everybody Loves Raymond and change it to Everybody Hates Marchand and have a comedy series from that right there. Um, I also want to throw out there, this is this is something going on in the Vancouver market. So the cancellation, the, the abrupt cancellation of 
uh, TSN 1040 is, is still got people pretty worked up and there's a lot of cancel bell, you know, to heck with bell kind of, kind of talk. I know apologies for the language. And I support that. Like, I think, I think what bell's doing for a company that took money for, for, for COVID relief, 122 million, I think they took from the Canadian government. Plus the fact that they just had let's talk day and they gave millions of dollars to uh, charity for that. And, and that's millions of dollars that it's, it's important to note that they gave that money to charity, which is nice. It also shows that they have a lot of money. Um, their, their earnings reports would also tell you they earn a lot of money. They didn't have to shut these stations down and they definitely didn't have to do it the way that they did. But Sportsnet 650 is a decent, decent broadcast. And there's a lot of good people working at that station like there were at TSN 1040. So um, there, there are some that seem to be saying negative things about Sportsnet 650. Problem with that is then you're giving Sportsnet a right to go, oh, hey, we could just close that station down then. So, yeah, um, it, it is it is rough the way that, that Bell's treating people right now. I don't know that there's actually going to be enough of a backlash for it to make any difference. To be honest, I think I don't I don't know that the people are going to have enough backlash against the company for it to make any difference at all. I think they made their minds up and I think that's it. But keep this in mind that this is not a decision that was made yesterday or two weeks ago necessarily. It might have been coming for a while. So odds are while we were having Bell Let's Talk Day and and there's all this talk about mental health and how important it is. Bell already knew that they were going to be firing people. Bell already knew that a lot of their employees were going to be out of work in a week's time. Bell was well aware of that and what that does to a person's psyche. Getting fired in a situation like that where you haven't done anything wrong and, and without any notice, it's, it's pretty heartless. So... You know, for, for Bell to do that, and as a company that's making a ton of money during a pandemic, it is a really bad look. But again, it doesn't have to come back then on Sportsnet. You don't have to say, well, because that store closed, screw those guys. Uh, this is not one of those situations. So, anyways, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as I know everybody, probably, I don't know if everybody does. Sure, sure, everybody, everybody does. I don't think that's a thing because then you'd have like, if there's 15,000 views on a video, you have 15,000 comments. I don't think that's a thing. But anyways, let me know your thoughts regarding any of these news articles. articles? I, I am convinced that my brain decided this morning it didn't want to wake up and it's just letting me know through verbal cues. So I apologize for that and work on getting that fixed through the rest of today. But thank you guys for all your support. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for everything. I will talk to you again soon.